Well, guys, it turns out I was wrong I, in my live stream last night. If y'all watched it, uh, I've been saying this pre-live stream also. Turns out this is because this applies with the PS5 also. You can get the PS5 and Xbox Series X on launch date. There's an article. I'm gonna put the article in the um, somewhere in the comment section. I probably pinned the so y'all can check it out. Put the link in there. But basically, this like I said, this applies with the PS5 also. Um, basically, what this article is saying: Hey, you can get a console on launch day. You can get one on launch day. But the catch twenty two is, you know, I was kind of right and I was kind of wrong. Catch twenty two is you're not gonna be able to go to the store and just pick it up. You know, they gonna do like the online orders. Which, um, they need to fix that problem because all of the bots and stuff, this is like, this is gonna turn to like an information, like a mini rant video. This is annoying how like people can't get these consoles because people are just, you know, using these bots to buy up everything at a high volume and quick rate. I don't know, people, you know, been planning for this. Next gen hype for the past year. People been like hustling, scrounging up money. Now they finally got enough, and you got these freaking scalpers just come in here and just buy these uh, consoles up for like 800 gonna, and flip it back for 800 900 maybe even a grand and stuff. Look, um, before I continue with this uh, video, yo, do not support these scalpers at all because all the thing y'all are doing is when y'all buy stuff for these scalpers, y'all are encouraging them and stuff. If you want people to stop doing stuff you don't like, don't support it. That's it. Don't support it. In a mental healthy person, if a person trying to do something and they don't see enough support, they're going to stop doing it. They're not going to keep trying. And let them waste that money. Let them have like 12 Xboxes or 12 PS5s and no one buying them. They don't support this. Anyways, back to this article. Let's see. Back to this article. Here we go. Right here. Both come. Here we go at Walmart. So um, as of tomorrow, November 10th for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, y'all better check out Walmart. Uh, Walmart.com at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. East Coast Standard Time. I'm on the East Coast. So tomorrow at 9 a.m. and P uh, 12 p.m., y'all need to check Walmart online so y'all can secure a PS5 and Xbox Series X. So yeah, they're doing that. And I'm jumping ahead. I remember reading this article saying Best Buy is not doing it, but let me get the target right quick. Series X online on target will be, no, it said no given time, so y'all gonna have to keep checking your phone to see as Series X will be at Target. Also, side note, y'all might want to follow me on Twitter too. Um, cause sometime on Twitter, you know, um, you know, Warrior64 or you know, Jeff Kelly, he'll tweet out like they'll tweet out when like Xbox Series X are available. Sometimes um on Twitter, if someone may like, you know, say when Xbox Series X or Line are available, I may retweet it out. The reason I went on um, when they're online and they're available like instantly and stuff, by the time I make a video, edit, render, upload, they'll be like, you know, sold out. So just follow me on Twitter. The link be in the description to follow me on Twitter. Or I might sometimes I post it on Instagram. Link be in the description, you know, to follow me on Instagram, or two social media websites. So when I see them, um, I'll just retweet it or something. I don't have time to, you know, to post a video and stuff. So um yeah, all with that all being said, yeah, follow me on those social media platforms. Um, yeah, so there you go. Best Buy, Best Buy said they're not gonna restock until 2021. I don't know why they're losing a lot of money on that. That's dumb. So I'll be posting information about like the new next gen consoles, what's about to be current gen consoles until I, I say until like February 2021 then I'll stop posting it because I want to keep helping people try to get these consoles in their house and stuff I chose February because um holiday season you know November December and then after the holiday season you should be able to find some easier but you know how that goes and stuff you know the, the little leftovers and by the time February and March rolls around you should be able to get one like real easy so Let's see where to buy accessories. No, so I just wanted to let y'all know that um tomorrow y'all need to be up and be active tomorrow because they are dropping these next gen consoles. I don't know what wave this is now, six, eighteenth, nineteenth wave or something. So um if I were y'all, I would hit up Walmart because this this is our guaranteed times right here. Hit up Walmart tomorrow. So y'all set your alarm clocks. Don't hang out. Going clubbing and celebrating and all that other stuff. 
Y'all be at 9, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. If y'all trying to get this Xbox Series X and this PS5, because it's both consoles for Walmart. So this is a guarantee. So like I said in my other videos, what you need to go ahead and do is download the Walmart app. Put your all your personal information in there so y'all can have a high chance of beating these bots. Put your personal information in there, your credit card number, your debit card number, or whatever. Be by your phone. I say around like 850 or something like that. And when like I say around 859 or 858, just keep refreshing the screen. Keep refreshing the screen. And as soon as you see a stock available, quick tap it as quick as you can as possible and just get on. Um if you got a weak phone service, I would I would recommend using a, a Wi-Fi service instead of your 4G or 5G service. If you got bad, well, obviously if you got bad service, you'd probably be using 4G or something. No, you know, not no disc or anything. But um, I would highly recommend you to use like a strong internet service, like someone's Wi-Fi or a direct Ethernet port. You know, because that's a dinosaur. Because people like wireless stuff now these days. But um. Yeah, I would recommend getting like a strong internet service around being around, you know, being around at that time around like 8.50 or 8.58 p.m. Be around a real strong internet service. I don't think you want to go to like a cafe or something. I think you might want to go to like someone's house or your house and, you know, be around a strong internet service so you can secure these next gen consoles. But like I said, good luck fighting against these bots, man. These bots, you know, they freaking suck, man. Feel for y'all, for some of y'all. You know, I think it's e some of y'all probably clicked out the video. But it's like I'm, I'm just going on a little rant. I think it's easier to just go in and just um get these consoles in person. Like I said, you don't got to fight against bots or anything, something like that. You know, you just go in and just get the console, just like I did. Just you know, pre-order. Also, um, side note, I heard that um I'm not even gonna go try it tonight. This is Monday as I'm doing this right now. Um, I heard GameStop are not doing uh, midnight releases on the Xbox Series X and um, the PS5. I heard a lot of these retailers are not doing midnight releases also. So, because of COVID, which, ooh, I got to blur that out. <laughs> I don't know. I might leave it in the video. But anyways, um, they said the reason being, which don't make sense for the PS5, because when I did the PS5 pre-order, is... Due to you know the the C nineteen virus, because um, a lot of people can go in there you know at once just flooding the stores with people, you know ordering the P pre ordering the PS five, but we can't have like you know people you know coming getting the PS five. It doesn't make sense. Just um only thing they had to do is just like put like six feet of tape within each other. And then allow, allow one person in the store at a time. That's it. That's the only thing they had to do. But, hey, whatever. I don't run the company. Uh, I guess I don't want to be at fault. And, you know, GameStop is already in a lot of trouble because people, for some reason, have a fascination of wanting GameStop to go out of business. Although, they said um, that your trade-ins are crap. Look, I'm going to give y'all some insight. Look, I'm all over the place on this. <laughs> Look, I'm going to give y'all some insight. This is how you get good value or at least get half of your money back when you trade in games for GameStop, right? What you do is you buy the game day one, right? Buy the game day one. You beat the game. I say get beat the game within like a week and turn it back in. And that's how you get half price off on, you know, your new games and stuff. Don't buy the game like, you know, to, I mean, you can, but... If you buy a game like at least I said a week after it's been out, uh, the depreciation of the game is going to keep dropping and dropping unless it's a Nintendo game because Nintendo games always hold their value for some reason. Um, other than that, the key is to get the game day one because this is what I used to do on my other channel uh, to save money. Unless I only kept the game if I really liked the game, I know I'm going to play the game over again because, you know, I do walkthroughs and stuff. And sometimes I might not ever go back to the game. Sometimes I do go back to the game. But what I did was uh, I used to get the game like day one at GameStop. I used to beat the game within a week and I used to trade it back in. So if the game was like $60 or something, they'll give me like $30 or $28 instead of like 4 5 or $8 or something like that. So, you know. Anyways, um, that's my little all over the place video. I don't know. Maybe I do a, like a mini podcast one day. I don't know. Y'all want to hear my thoughts on like the gaming industry or something like that? If you want to hear my thoughts on the gaming industry, um, leave us leave us something in the comment section. If I see enough comments saying that, I probably do like a mini podcast every once in a while. I used to do a little mini podcast on my old channel called "What's Happening in Gaming." 
I just talk about what's going on in the gaming news and my thoughts and stuff like that. This video getting too long. Just supposed to here and just tell y'all about what's going on with the Series X and the PS5. I'm all over the place and stuff. I don't know, man. Anyways, I'm out this video, so yeah, peace.